Memory often accords our high school years the distinction of being among the happiest of our lives. I remember Episcopal in that light. The academics were superb and serious, a testament to the many fine teachers who were there then and are here today. Athletics were accorded almost equal weight, and I appreciated the opportunity that it gave a mediocre athlete to participate in team sports. And the honor code here, I will not lie, I will not cheat, I will not steal, was much the same as the code my parents had taught and which would govern my behavior at Annapolis and in the United States Navy. If I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have, I learned to do so when my honor was challenged by more serious threats than I ever faced at the high school. And I had good friends here, very good friends here. And those friendships make up the best parts of my remembrance. There was one friendship that has been alluded to earlier that enriched my life at Episcopal High School beyond measure. Well, William B. Ravnell, the only person I remembered from Episcopal, I would credit those days among the very best in my life. His influence in my life was more important and more benevolent than that of any person outside of my family. Mr. Ravnell, as you know, was the head of the English department and coached the junior varsity football team on which I played. He'd been a star running back at Davidson College and had a master's degree in English from Duke University, like most men of his generation. He had known far greater danger than that posed by a tough defensive line. He had served in Patton's tank corps during the Third Army's aggressive advance across Europe and had survived hard encounters with Hitler's panzer divisions. He was a lieutenant colonel in the Army Reserve the only master at the high school who still served in the military.